Welcome back to the show. You're watching NHL Now. Seth Jones was the topic of discussion over the weekend after reports surfaced that he has informed the Columbus Blue Jackets he intends to test the free agent market. And EJ, we have talked a lot about this Columbus Blue Jackets team this year yeah. and how crucial Seth Jones' decision is to the decisions Yarmo Kekalina will have to make following that. And you've talked a lot about how important it was for Yarmo and his staff to find out what Seth Jones yeah. was going to do so that they could start planning for their future. Yeah. Why do you think it's so important? Well, because you have to determine if he's if he was going to go to the market or not. Now, he says he, apparently he's going to the market. That's great for Columbus to find that out because now they can start the process of trading them. I mean, let's face it. They're not going to win the Stanley Cup next year. They're kind of in a rebuild again now. I think what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to see what teams target teams that you think have the cap room and uh, the wherewithal, the need to get Seth Jones. A lot of teams probably have the need to get Seth Jones, but they have the cap space and could sign him to a kind of a, a longer term deal. You maybe get in the ear of the uh, of his agent and try to find out some spots that he might be interested in going down the road. But for me, I just think you have to move him, Billy. I, I just I don't like these situations in the last year of a contract where it plays out and it plays out and it plays out that eventually at the trade deadline, you're trading him for a bag of pucks and a couple of picks. Get it done in the offseason when you have all these suitors. You have 31 other teams aside from yourself now with the addition of Seattle that could jump in and find the best deal you can make and try to get uh, as much value in return as you possibly can. Yeah, a couple of things. One, each, there's no doubt that John Davidson and Yarmo Kikalainen will trade him much sooner than later. In fact, probably coming up, I'm going to guess, within four to six weeks uh, around the draft time, uh, you know, at the very least before next season, because I couldn't agree with you more. Secondly, um, this will be a devastating move, I think, for the Blue Jackets for the now, but it could be Boku for the future. They could get a ton back for a young, barely in his prime uh, you know what I mean? When, he, when you put together the physical and mental aspect of the game, barely entering it, Seth Jones, right shot defenseman, one of the great right shot defensemen, American defensemen in the game. And uh, he's going to attract a ton of interest, and he will get a lot back. However, they're not going to be able to probably really use that coming up. They'll get a good player or two come up, but it's going to be all the other gets that they get in that trade mm -hmm. that I think will be significant for J.D. and for Yarmo to rebuild yeah. this team. There's obviously a situation in Columbus, and it's, it's something that, you know, I, I know John Davidson just went back there. He's got to figure it out along with Yarmo because they can't keep losing players like this. I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah, will he stay or will he go always seems to be he will go when it comes to the Columbus yeah. Blue Jackets. you got to feel bad uh, for the fan base there who have really come to expect this sort of thing uh, yeah. from the superstar players.